Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back. Um, again, I know it's been a while, but I got a quick little video that I want to show you guys um, about a product that I bought a little while ago and I want to try out. So now this is basically what I got. And um, I know that a lot of you might have already uh, seen one of these. Now, the special thing about this one is that it's Wi-Fi. So unlike my old one that I had that was only Bluetooth, uh, this is actually Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I believe. So now in build is basically identical to the uh, Bluetooth one. And uh, like I said, we're gonna see how this works. Now the difference between this and the uh, Bluetooth one is that this being Wi-Fi um, can also connect to your iPhone. Now, uh, there used to be, and actually this one has been out for quite a little while. Now the only reason why I've never gotten a uh, Wi-Fi one was because uh, I had never found any good um, apps for the iPhone. Um, now lately I found one that it seems pretty promising. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. So anyways, let's plug this in, get our app out and uh, see what happens. Okay, so in case you didn't know where your uh, OBD2 port was in your OBS, it's kind of like right, up, right below your glove box on the uh, lower left hand side. Okay, so now to connect uh, to your OBD2, it should be pretty uh, simple. We'll just go to our settings, um, go to Wi-Fi, and then choose the one that will basically say that and connect to it. So that's gonna be step one. Now step two is gonna be within your actual app. Now these are the two apps that I have downloaded for uh, this reader, which are cast, um, Car Scanner and then Forescan, which should be the uh, better one. This is the free version, so it doesn't really offer much, but basically the only reason why I downloaded it was to be able to test and see if I could actually run uh, this app on my truck. Sometimes, um, I think OBD2 is from 95 or 96 and up. So if you have a 95, you know, it's you know wishy-washy as well as 96 if it'll work or not. If you have anything under 95, it will most definitely not work. Uh, also, one thing that I forgot to mention is that the key has to actually be on. Now, the, the, the truck doesn't have to be on, just the... Uh, the key has to be on the on position. Uh, this, like I said, this is a free version, so it doesn't really have anything uh, on it. The only thing that this does really well is read uh, error codes. So now basically that I see that this thing does work with the app, I'm gonna down download the uh, paid version so that we can read out, you know, all the stuff that we need for the truck, you know, like our AC ICP, IPR, you know, all those things. Uh, we should be able to read them with the uh, Forescan app. Um, the app itself is pretty cool. It's actually a an app uh, developed just for Ford vehicles. Um, and like I said, it should work really well with our trucks. Um, I've even read that you can actually do a uh, bus test on it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and download it and then we'll continue with this little video. Okay, now with your app downloaded, you'll see that you get all these extra features now. So you get dashboard, uh, table, graph, test, services. Now when you go to dashboard, um, I've already started downloading some stuff onto it as you can see, but when you first open it, yours uh, won't have any of this stuff. So what you do to download a lot of it, a lot of these things is hit that little uh, gear button, the settings button, and that will give you all your PIDs. Now to add more, you're gonna hit the plus button on the lower left and uh, select all the ones that you wanna download, which is kinda what I'm doing right now. So like I, a lot of these might not work with the truck, but like I still wanna try them and see if, you know, if they actually do work. And uh, there we go with all the uh, PIDs that you want uh, downloaded, they will now appear all on here. Now make sure you push, make sure that you press uh, play before you start. So now everything should be ready to go. We are gonna, there we go. Now the only thing that I don't like a lot about this is that it doesn't basically give you like completely live data. Um, on some other apps that I've used, it actually tells you what it's doing as you're cranking the engine. This thing kind of just starts reading after it already started, or at least that's what it kind of looks like to me, which I don't really like that a lot. Now, another feature that I want to show you guys is the uh, test. Now, uh, these are all the tests that you supposedly can run on this truck. Uh, the first one right here would be your uh, Injector bus test, uh, injector electrical self test. That would be your bus test. And then right here we got the one that I want to run right now, which is the uh, cylinder contribution test. So we'll see 
how that does so you select it and then you push basically the play button on it and then it's going to tell you everything you need in order for it to start doing the test so the engine needs to be warmed up I already drove it for a little bit it's warmed up it's not moving it's in neutral a uh, parking brake I don't have one so we'll push in the uh, clutch and we'll hit okay and see what happens and now it tells you right here what, what percentage um, it's at and I don't know if you heard but the truck see that like it definitely sounds weird it, it's doing something uh, but we'll, we'll let it do its thing and uh, hopefully we won't kill the truck now this thing sounds really weird I don't know if this is normal and I have honestly never done uh, one of these tests before so it's a little freaky like I said hopefully this thing survives now it's more than halfway done um, then yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens I feel like it's pretty much going through every cylinder and doing something weird so here we go so this is basically what it's telling us and doesn't doesn't look too good so it's saying that we've got two codes saying that uh we have a fault so the, and this is the cool thing that i like about this app it actually it will tell you the code and then it'll give you a description of what might be wrong with it and it does that also for like your check engine code so that's pretty cool so basically none of this sounds too good uh so we're gonna research on our own and see if there might be other de other causes for this um but yeah that's actually kind of scary looking at it but like i said we'll do some research and we'll turn off this beast oh that was that was definitely something else <laughs> it's a weird test i've never done it like i said hopefully uh that was something normal for it to be doing but anyways um now another thing that i want to show you is the uh, bus test that this thing can do so again k-o-e-o -E means key on engine off so the truck's already on on key on engine off we will hit that test and hit play so our vehicle is not moving the transmission is in neutral all right hit okay so now So now that, oh, let me, this is kind of blurry, but that said that the system passed. So what that means is that our injector bus test has passed. So anyways, uh, so like, like I said, you know, you can do a variety of tests uh, with this app, uh, monitor quite a few things. Like I said, um, I still got to mess with it a little bit more, but the uh, monitoring part of it, uh, I'm not that huge of a fan. Uh, it, it is pretty cool though, how you can now run all of these tests uh, from your iPhones. Cause I know that a lot of us only have iPhones. Um, I was using, like I said, the Android, uh, the yeah, yeah, the um, Android version, and I didn't feel that it was as good as what these, what this uh, app just did. Now, the only thing that I want to do is see if I can find a better app to uh, monitor my ICP, my IPR, all those values more uh, real time or live than what this app does. Um, there's definitely other versions of this, other cheaper versions of this. Uh, this as this is not that bad. I believe it's about it's about twenty five, thirty dollars, something like that. I'm don't remember quite off of the off of the top of my head uh but what i will do is leave a, a link to this uh down below um the app is called uh four scan light um that's the version you want so it's basically the, there, there's two versions there's the free one and the paid one uh the free one's called four scan uh, viewer uh, that's the first one that i showed you uh the one that actually does all the testing and then you can see all of your um parameters uh, that one's live uh, four scan light. Uh, I know it makes no sense, right? Basically the usually the light versions are the ones that don't have everything on this thing. It's the other way around uh, four scan light is the actual version you want the paid version that is uh, six dollars five ninety nine By the way, this thing is gonna live inside of my truck. I recommend that you guys would do the same and uh, Check out I know it's kind of off topic But check out that light. Uh, that's a last fit bulb in my glove box and that's kind of like into a future video that I'm going to be doing. 
but that thing is super bright like now you can see everything that's in your glove box i highly recommend it um i'll leave a link to the uh, light bulb too um that light bulb fits in the uh glove box as well as in your doors okay guys so that's gonna be it for this video um i'll leave a link to the reader and um the name and everything for the app and uh all, all i want to say is uh thanks for watching i know that i've been gone for a while and uh this video was meant to be a little bit more of an update video uh for everybody that likes the channel so that they know that i'm back um so that everybody starts watching again uh like i said i know that i've been gone for a while but i have a bunch of projects uh lined up but i'll go uh into that a little more in uh my next video anyways thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment and uh we'll see you for the next one